We're here at the TP build, folks, the TP greenhouse, and we're onto the stage of actually wrapping the wrapping the TP with the plastic wrap I've got here. So you can buy this stuff. Basically, it's just a pallet wrap, and you can buy it at your local flea market, or that's where I got it. It runs about, uh, or Home Depot, wherever big box stores, runs about uh, $15 a roll. It's 1,500 feet on a roll. Um, so let's get to it. I built this thing here. I'm going to show you quick. So obviously this is a pretty big teepee and I have to get way up to the top. Now if I was in the bush, I wouldn't have a ladder. Um, I'd have what you see right here. So I've kind of designed it and made it so that if I was in the bush and all I had was this roll, I could make a, a teepee of this size. Like I said before, I don't make teepees this big generally, but for this application for a greenhouse, I wanted it to be quite large. So I took this log that was roughly the same diameter and then I just peeled the ends so that once I get up to the top areas, I'll be able to peel this plastic wrap off and hold this log up in doing so, so that I can get to these high portions. So let's get to it. I'm going to spot them. I'm probably going to do, uh, sorry. I'm probably gonna do one wrap up, one wrap down, one wrap back up. And that means my overlap will be actually running downward with the rainwater so that it's not gonna be penetrating the plastic. This is my first time doing this. Um, not making a teepee, but my first time wrapping it in this pallet wrap. So let's just see how it goes. Let's try it out. Let's get wrapping. And we're back and we are done the greenhouse folks check it out look how cool this looks got it all pinned up all wrapped up I did three like I said I was gonna do so I did one up one down one up and take a look at this baby it's a little loose some of the top layers you, I kind of got used to what I was doing after about the thousandth uh, pass but you want to stay in front of the roll when you have it up on the stick I ended up just taking a stick and putting a nail on each side to hold up the uh, hold up the plastic wrap, and it worked great. And I just kept walking, walking, walking. And I twisted one up on the top tight and tied the tight, the top tight. <laughs> um, no, it's it's really cool. I'm hoping that once it uh, the sun hits it, maybe it'll shrink up a little bit more. And I'll show you the inside. I'm ready to uh, actually do my next video, which is going to be getting my seedlings underway. So this is my greenhouse. This is what I want to try. Like, I probably wouldn't uh, use this as a long-term shelter by any means, but for the application I need, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I get to uh, start my seedlings out in this and then move them over to that big, beautiful garden that we just built. Um, all I did, if 
for the little entranceway was I didn't want to cut it and just have it all just take off on me and loose and uh, loosen up. So basically I cut some wood and then nailed it into the uh, the actual frame of the teepee and then I made my cuts in the center and then one on the top so it wouldn't come loose and then I wrapped them really tight and, and nailed them through um, nailed them through this way as well so that it wouldn't uh, wouldn't come loose but it's pretty cool come on inside check it out worked really well I have some bales of straw set up so that I'll be able to uh, that's where I'm going to set my my starters on my trays of starters and uh, we'll be ready to rock so yeah I just wanted to show this with you guys this is pretty sweet guys and gals and I'm excited for the next video which is going to be getting the starter seeds up and running and some warm weather would be great okay thanks a lot for tuning in if you uh, if you like the video please uh, click the like button feel free to subscribe I'd love to uh, get lots of subscribers on this channel and that way I can uh, it'll allow me to do more cool videos um, thank you for tuning in thanks for watching and uh, I hope you can Maybe use this somewhere in your application, maybe on your homestead. And if not, it's just a lot of fun. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.